Welcome back, I am Dr. Lee's AI Speaking Assistant of Practical Pain Management. It is designed to show how I make a diagnosis and set up an interventional treatment strategy in the consulting room. Do you have shoulder pain? My right elbow pain improved a lot after your treatment two months ago but remained dull pain. According to a review of my chart, you previously had inflammation and joint effusion in the elbow joint. I have bilateral shoulder pain and more discomfort in the morning after sleep, much discomfort while raising my arm. I visited and got treatment in local orthopedics because of so severe pain. The doctor said there is inflammation but a normal tendon in the shoulder joint. The lab test showed a high level of ESR and cell P at the time, ESR was 54, and cell P was 2.84. Let me make sure your elbow pain was the first pain in your life. There was no pain in your elbow before. You have bilateral shoulder pain and ultrasound evidence of inflammation, so I believe you may have a systemic inflammatory disease. Let me check your left shoulder. I will do a passive movement test on your left shoulder, because you said more severe. Let me examine your shoulder with an ultrasound. I will study the biceps tendon. Next subscapularis. Transverse and longitudinal scan. Next supraspinatus. Longitudinal and transverse scan. Let me explain the details and give my opinion. You previously had a joint effusion in the elbow joint with a high level of inflammatory enzymes. It is the ultrasound image of your shoulders. The low echogenicity of the anterior supraspinatus of the left shoulder is not normal, but pathology suggests tendinosis or delamination tear. Let me explain the models. There is a thin layer between the deltoid muscle and rotator cuff tendon. You have inflammatory fluid in the thin layer. Patient. See you in the following videos. Thank you.